La Yena Libro estas registrita de Alexo Miller, al Alex Von Miller. Hi there, today we're going to look at the third short story from the book Magia Shipo. The second story is Luban Lenonis Charpentaron. In that one we meet the soon to be famous a carpenter named Luban. This story is sort of a sequel to that. It's the story of Luban and his sister Lu Jiang having a uh, bridge building competition. So it's a, it's a shorter story, but there's still some words in there that might throw you for a loop. So here are some vocab words to know before heading into it. Klachi is the word for to gossip. Uh, there's a, a ruckus at the, at the river's border there. There's only so many prom, uh, ferries, prom boato is a ferry boat, uh, to bring people across. And so people are you know, complaining, gossiping, like just what in the world, this is terrible. And that's where they go, well, hey, why don't we build a bridge? You want to? Let's do it. So uh, they clutch the people. And when I saw that, I was like, ooh, they, they, they had a clash, a clash of the titans. Blows were thrown. That's what I thought at glancing at it. And I looked it up. Oh, they just gossiped. Well, that's a little anticlimactic, but at least it's accurate to what was actually happening. So the people were gossiping at the uh, edge of the river. And a way to remember that is, you'll clutch your pearls after hearing this gossip. Mm -hmm. the, the gossip, think of these old church ladies just sitting around and gossiping and clutching pearls, clutchy. Next, we have a word, cocarico, which is basically the word for the cry of a rooster, a cococrio, uh, which is a cockadoodle-doo. So usually um, there's words like blecky or muji that can sort of apply to a lot of different animals having their bleating, their meh, moo, all those sounds. So a rooster has its own word, cocarico, as cockadoodle-doo. So there you go. I think cockadoodle-doo is a little more accurate in its onomatopoeia, but Puerto Rico is the word we use uh, for that. So they said at the, at the cockadoodle doing, that's when the time is up and we have to be done with our competition. So that's why it factors into this story. The Coca Rico. Haste, um, you probably could tell by looking at it, it means hastily, but I want to bring attention to it just to remind you that that word is an option. Hasta, haste, uh, an urgent, quick, rapid, sped on. Um, in my mind, if I had to express that idea of, hey, we got to get there quick, we are running out of time, I would probably use urge uh, for urgently or rapide for quickly or rapidly. So it's just a good reminder sometimes when you see a word, pause for a second and remind yourself, hey, that's at your disposal anytime you want to use it. So haste uh, for you know hastily preparing everything for the competition. Next we have stato. Stato is a state or condition. You know, what, what state is that in? A liquid, gas, solid, at what temperature? So you can use it scientifically like that. Uh, here in, in, in the story, the sister goes to see, mm, how goes his uh, bridge building? You know, how, how is that coming along? What is the state of his work? And I wanted to point out the difference between farti and stati. So, I, I might ask you, oh, kiel vi fartas? How do you do? How are you doing? How are you faring? How are things going? I'm asking you the state of your condition, but farti specifically deals with one's health state. Are you doing well? Or are you not doing well? If I said, oh, how are negotiations doing? Or how is, uh, yeah, how, how are, how's the bridge coming along? Well, the bridge isn't healthy or unhealthy. It's rather almost completed or not even close to being completed. It's just a different wording of it. So uh, farti usually are using that when dealing with people or animals or something that actually can get sick. So if you say, kiel statas la negotsoi, how are the negotiations going? Uh, you'd use stati. You wouldn't say kiel fartas la negotsoi. Uh, next we have gravuri, which means to engrave. And the reason that we say that, yeah, we have to add a little something after grav because gravi or grava, grava means important or, you know, so uh, tio gravas, that is important. So one way to remember uh, is they engrave your name when you are grava, grav ura, grava means important. So when you're an important person, they're more likely to have a plaque with your name engraved on it. Uh, so gravuri is to engrave. And gravurajo is an engraving because gravuro isn't an engraving. Gravuro would be the act of engraving, a tap, tap, tap uh, on, onto the graving instrument, something like that. Uh, so it is, it, it begins its life as a verb, gravuri, and takes other forms from there. So kind of like combo, you know, combo means a combing motion, not a comb object. 
that's why you say combilo. So just want to let you know in building words with gravuri that it starts with the verb form of engrave. Uh, gravurajo is engraving. And uh, let's see here. Brody is the word for embroider. At the very end of the story, they say, oh, whenever mothers would have their daughters embroider something on a pillowcase, which I also will point out, uh, kapkusena, it, tego, is a pillow cover case. Tego, uh, tagi, it means to protect, to you know, have a facing on something, uh, to cover, which is nice to know that you don't have to always use covrilo, a covering instrument, uh, for something like that. So tego is something to you know, overlay on top of a pillow. So whenever they wanted to embroider one of those, they'd say, oh, go copy the beautiful you know, designs on the bridge of Lu Jiang. So that is what Brody means is to embroider, broad, broider, and that's what tego means is uh, sort of a cover. Next we have uh, balustro is a banister or a baluster, and then and that's a wooden shaft. It's like on a rail, uh, a railing going up the steps of your house. Those wooden sticks that go up there, the, those are individual uh, banisters and or balusters. And then balustrado is the word for them as a whole row of them or a collection of them. They're balus a balustrade, or that's banisters. But be aware that balustrado is a separate root than balustro. It might look like, oh, well, it's like a continual thing because ado means continual, like parolado is the continual form of paroli. But know that yeah, you know, that might help you remember because it's not just one banister, it's just ongoing banister after banister after banister. So yes, it's this adu about banisters, but balustrado is its own separate root form. Omaji is the word for uh, to, pay ha- to pay homage to, to honor someone. So omaji, um, there's a part in there where they talk about la fenixo, omajanta, something, the phoenix paying homage to this other person. She's making designs on the bridge of sort of mythological beings and creatures telling stories on every banister along the, the bridge uh, there has a different story that it's telling from Chinese mythology instead of Greek mythology. Uh, so there's a, a phoenix there, uh, omajanta, uh, paying homage to something. Um, the reason we couldn't say homajo, because homajo would be literally homoajo, human age. So we had to take the H out of there uh, so it wasn't confusing. So omaji is to pay homage. Finally, masoni is the word for build something with bricks or stones. So masonisto is a mason, a, a person who builds things, a bricklayer, if you will. So masonita brico is a brick that has been laid in place by a professional in order to build something, a laid brick. So there's a part in there where it said, oh, there were only two stones left unset, unpositioned, unmasoned. And that's when the contest ended. So masonita is to you know a having been placed thing. So those are your words for la pontoi en jiaojo. Enjoy. La pontoi en jiaojo. En la urbo jiaojo estis du stonai pontoi. El kiwi la granda ston ponto sude de la urbo estis construita de luban. Dum tiu malgranda occidente estis construita de Lu Jiang, fratino de Lu Ban. Lu Ban kai lia fratino voyagis en la lando kai venis iutage al Jiaojo. De mal proxime ili jam vidis la or flavan urban muron, sed kiam ili al proximigis, larga rivero Jiaohe baris al ili la voyon. Cella river bordo svarmis multe da homoi inter kiwi estis gren, brulin, coton, stof vendantoi, foir visitantoi, col portistoi, caeliai. En grande bruo, ili ciwi concure clopodis por transvaturi la riveron, sed sur la torrenta rivero laboris nur du pramboatoi, kiwi povis transporti mal multain dum longa tempo. Perdinte patienson pro longa attendado, iwi ech clacis. Vidinte tion, Luban demandis locanoin, kial vine construas ponton sur la rivero? La rivero est tre larga kai profunda, ili respondis. Ni longe sercis lertain maestroin por la construado, sed ne successis. Esplorinte la situacion de la rivero, Luban kai Lu Jiang decidis construi du pontoin por lojantoi en Jiaojo, 
kien ein iris lu jiang, shi chiam audis ke oni laudas la grandan capablezon de shia frato. Sed shi ne volis confessi tion kai decidis concursi kun luban. Shi proponis ke ili constru la pontoin, ciu po unu, por vidi kiu la unua plenumos la construaron. Ili commensos la laboron ce la vesperigio, cae finos gin ce la cocerico. Cae tiu, ciu ancora ne finos la laboron ce la definita tempo, malgainos la concurson. Post la interconsento, ili ec prepari sin aparte. Luban construos ponton sude de la urbo, cae Lujiang tiun en la occidenta parto de la urbo. Lujiang venis al la loco, pretigis materialoin cae haste commensis la laboron. En nocto mezo si iam fin construis la ponton, si pensis che ci foie sia frato certe estos venkita. Nun si volis regardi ciel statas lia laboro, si do sen brue venis alla suda parto della urbo. Na attendite che si vidis tie nenion super la rivero, e forestis ancau luban. En miro si vidis de mal proxime homon, Pelanta aron da shafoi de sur Taihang monto. Ciam li al proximigis, si vidis ke tiu homo estis neniu alia ol sia frato. La palatoi ne estis shafoi, sed ruligiantai, blancai cae fainai stonoi. Vidinte tiu in stonoin, lu jiang malasperigis. Ciai bonai cae belegai stonoi, Ciel fortica che bella estos la ponto el tiu istonoi. Ciu sia ponto estus comparebla con la lia? Si pensis che si nepre deva superilin en alia flanco. Si do haste revenis al sia ponto cae zorgeme gravuris diversain desegnoin sur giai balustradoi. Baldau la ponto farigis multe pli bella pro gravuragioi, pri bovisto cae texistino, fenixo omagianta alla suno cae ne calculeblai rarai floroi cae herboi, lugiang tre contentigis pri siai vercoi. Si de nove curis alla frato por regardi ciel iras lia laboro. Ancao luban baldau fin construos la ponton, cae nur du stonoi sur la pont capo ancora ne estis masonitai. Vidinte tion, si mal tranquilligis cae criegis du foioin, imitante cocaricon. Tiam la cocoi de la proximae villagioi ec criis unu postalia. Audinte la cocain crioin, luban haste metis sur la loco la du stonoin, cae tiel la ponto estis construita. La ponto de luban estis granda cae impone impressanta, tial oni nomis gin granda ston ponto. Dum tiu de Lu Jiang, cun bellae gravuragioi, estis delicata, tial oni gin nomis malgranda ston ponto. Ec nun, ciam knabinoi en jiao jiao brodas cap cusenain tegoin au shuoin, patrinoi ciam diras al ili. Iru alla malgranda ston ponto cae copiu tie celcain bellain desegnagioin sur gi. Jiao jiao, nuna jiao xian. Gubernio en Hebei provinzo. Taihang monto, montaro en norda Cinio, situanta inter la provinzoi Shanxi cae Hebei. Bovisto cae Texistino. Personoi en Cina mito. Texistino estis nepino de la Ciela imperiestro cae constante brod Texis nuboin. Si mem edzenigi sin al bovisto trans la argenta rivero, la lacta voio, cae interrompis la texaron. Protio la ciela imperiestro coleregis, cae ordonis sin disigi de la bovisto. La gaezoi estis permesitae rencontigi nur unu foion ciu iare en la sepa de la sepa monato lau la luna calendaro.